Do you mind if I said I'd wash up? God, she just won't let me do Has anything. It. She doesn't let me do anything. Jesus. That was the last time you washed up. Oh yeah, that's because I'm earning a living. God's sake. Are you James? Why aren't we rich? <laughs> Okay, Stoner Crow, so busy day, it's half 11. Trained all the women this morning. I'm um, hit the kid run, there was no school run, so just dropping off at mum's. Um, coming out, did kettlebells, just did buggy fitness, so it's a real heavy sort of class. Got box size tonight. So off home now to hit the podcast, get next week's online boot camp sorted, get the JB Academy done, get the eight week body transformation sorted. Go, 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 go. Uh, it's sun's out, love and life, and uh, yeah, good day. Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video off the back of talking to one of the girls in the program. And she has um, lost over a stone and she's doing really well. She lost that stone uh, within sort of the three, four weeks. And now we're sort of like on week five and suddenly felt that she plateaued. So in her mind, she's done really well, lost all this weight straight away and suddenly it slowed right down. Now the thing I wanted her to understand and I want you guys to understand is that when you started this process, the likelihood of you losing a lot of weight quite quickly is very likely because you have that excess body fat or that body weight that maybe you've been carrying around with you um, and that by starting exercise and eating well, actually your body is reacting. So you are getting rid of all of that unwanted and excess, excess body weight that you don't need, or that body fat, sorry. So those quick results are great, but to, in order to uh, sustain them, we now need to be consistent because it's gonna be even harder to get rid of the body fat, okay? We're getting, um, we've lost the excess weight, we've now got the rest of this body weight that we just need to get rid of, and that is about being consistent. Uh, if someone had said to me they wanted to lose over a stone, I'd say, well, eight weeks, it's probably just gonna be maybe under what you wanna achieve. Fat loss takes time, it takes patience, it takes consistency. And that's what I was trying to say. And um, she's getting married in June, so we're roughly, um, she wanted to lose another nine pounds before the wedding, and it's 10 weeks before the wedding. So simply break that down into a pound a week losing, okay? Keeping the consistency of the eating, the training, the same for that pound uh, a week. But another way I looked at it, it was to say that, what dress size, and she's size 12, but she wants to be in a size 10. So why not aim to be in a size 10 for the wedding? Okay, go out shopping, okay, and buy a size 10 dress so that in two and a half months you can fit in that dress, hang it up so you see it every night and that's your motivation to keep going consistently, all right? Please, in the group, if we are struggling with this, then phone me, okay, or contact me and we'll talk about it. I just want to ease your worries because she felt a lot better after the phone call. Um, she feels a lot more focused and I just want you to know that everyone's doing really great. We've seen the differences, we've seen the happy, a lot of people are a lot happier, we've seen the weight drop off. But if you're wondering why it's not suddenly dropping off now, it's because you're reaching closer to your optimum weight and, and it's going to be even harder to work off that body fat. Don't forget consistency, okay, staying committed. We've got a few weeks left of this program and hopefully the majority of you will stay with us and hopefully continue your journey. Um, but keep your goal in mind, exactly what you're after. Do you mind if I said I'd wash up? God, she just won't let me do that's anything. It. She doesn't let me do anything. Jesus. Oh yeah, that's because I'm earning a living. God's sake. Are you James? Why aren't we rich? <laughs> sure. Okay, literally, um, I haven't stopped since getting in. Last half eleven. Completely 
lost track of time, um, so it's podcast time. I'm going to do um, a quick talk on um, why I stay motivated, um, why why motivation is so important. Talking about realistic targets and goals, etc. Um, so going to get on with that now. Um, still got plenty of work to do. So probably going to be going to at least three tonight. Um, it's so busy. You've got to box. So apologies. But it's good because it definitely gets you done. It's things that I've been working on since January and before. It's all coming together. And we're going to push it out. So we're going to get on with it now. Okay, podcast done. Obviously, doing it in the bedroom on the floor is not the ideal place, but um, I knew my man was coming round, Nick, um, just to come and have a cup of tea and catch up. And I knew if I was halfway through the podcast, we'd end up interrupting it. Rude. Um, so I'm sitting on my floor with the sun beaming in doing this podcast. So uh, you've got to do what you got to do. Get him striking, get him going, good. Last couple of seconds, keep pushing. 